Why is Blackpool so poor? A lot of things have been said about the unpleasant condition of the town Blackpool. We have seen powerful proof that it's a depressing state. We have also found it on several lists of the poorest seaside towns. It has taken even the topmost position among the worst places to live in England. It's even contesting for a slot on the list of the most deprived town, though large. All these point to just one thing about the town. It's very poor. We think it's high time we attempted the question, why is Blackpool so poor? That is why this video is devoted entirely to analysing the poverty in Blackpool. Please watch carefully and form your opinion. Evidence or effects of poverty in Blackpool Let us begin the whole thing by looking for the evidence or effects of poverty in this town. The town's official website decries its sordid condition, saying that poverty bites. According to it, a considerable number of among the thousands of people in the UK who die poor are from Blackpool. Estimates published for the first time, according to the source, says hundreds of people in Blackpool die of poverty every year. It can be deduced from that estimate that in 2019, for example, as many as 408 people in the town died of poverty, having spent the last years of their life poor. That is around 22% of total deaths in the area. This is the highest rate in Lancashire and among the highest in England. Poverty afflicts especially children in this town. There have been nationwide concerns about child poverty in the UK. The UN has also frowned at how England is allowing children in some towns to fall into poverty. Narrowing down the research, some areas of Lancashire have been given some kind of special focus. A national figure had revealed that Blackpool is among the areas of Lancashire where child poverty is alarmingly high. Blackpool is now the town with the highest level of child poverty there. As far back as 2016, government figures had revealed that 26% of children in the town were living below the determined breadline. Across the remaining areas of Lancashire, the number of children in poverty ranged from 6% in Ribble Valley to 22% in Burnley. The situation is appalling in a neighbourhood of Blackpool where over 50% of children live in poverty. Poorest Districts Bloomfield is the poorest district of Blackpool. More than half of Bloomfield residents smoke. This is the highest rate in the country. It's the area where one third of pregnant women smoke till their delivery date. Alcoholism is rife while drug-related death rates are high. You will find in this area of Blackpool bedsits, all-night drinking in clubs that close doors around 7am, illicit cheap cigarettes and streets dominated by payday lenders and betting shops. Grange Park and Queen's Park are other areas increasing the poverty rate in Blackpool. Poverty has exposed many vulnerable single moms here to constant harassment. And in Queen's Park, antisocial and destructive behaviours are so rampant that an office of security guard has to patrol daily. This has not prevented the constant breakdown of law and order. The Implications of Life Expectancy and Health The low life expectancies in Blackpool speak volumes about the town. To put that in perspective, the World Odometer source puts the world life expectancy currently at 72.98 years. In Britain, it's 81.8 years. Females in this place have a life expectancy of 83.3 years, while males are expected to live up to 80.2. The question now is, how does Blackpool compare? A source says the town's life expectancy is as low as 67.63 years. Well, we won't like to work with this figure because it's rather low. Even then, the source may be referring to central Blackpool. So let's consider another data from a source that's most favourable to the town, the town's website. It says the life expectancy for men in Blackpool is 74.1 years, while for women it's 79. Again, that's too high and unrealistic given the current mortality rate. For the purpose of this video, however, let's go by this seemingly exaggerated figure. Both are still lower than the national average and averages for both sexes. What's more, the source even concedes that there are substantial differences in life expectancies in Blackpool. It states that men living in the least deprived area of the town have a life expectancy of 13.2 years longer than their counterparts living in the most deprived areas. And for women, the difference is 9 years. However, it's not just about the shortness of life expectancies. People in Blackpool spend a huge proportion of their lifespan in poor health and disability as the town faces many health challenges. It's been so since 2000 and the life expectancy started reflecting this in 2013. This bad health can be fit is either the cause or the effect of poverty in Blackpool. 
the connection with alcohol and drugs. Blackpool as a whole surely has an issue with alcohol and drugs. This isn't surprising as there are many breeding grounds for this in the town. Nightclubs aren't poorly regulated. They're almost a free world where those clubbing can do just whatever appeals to them. Some illicit traders take advantage of this and some corrupt doorman would always give them access in consideration of some underhanded monetary incentives. Such nightclubs attract those generic, drug-dependent folks. Severely lacking in self-confidence, they always find their way there to binge. You know alcoholism always puts pressure on the economy. Those on drugs can't live economically productive lives or make any contribution to their society. Instead, with little or no provocation, they disrupt their community's economic activity with their street fights. Some people going about their normal and legal businesses can be knifed, stabbed or even killed. At least, properties, including businesses, can be vandalized, causing further economic losses. You remember one of the commonest effects of binge drinking? You need not wonder why Blackpool has catastrophic levels of liver cirrhosis. This and digestive problems alone explain why the town's life expectancy is at least one year lower than England's. If you add the effect of violence mentioned earlier, self-harm and poisoning from an overdose, you can see why the town has been plunged into poverty. Unfortunately, those overconfident folks arrogantly refuse to acknowledge that their lifestyle is a form of alcoholism. It's only later in life that they tend to get the sense of it by the time they have had their kidneys damaged. They become a further economic burden on the town. Housing Challenge in Blackpool The challenge of housing is also at the crux of this town's poor health. This, in effect, is tightening the grip that poverty is already having on the town. The landlords are buying up defunct guest houses to profit from housing benefit claimants who are piled into houses of multiple occupation HMOs. And in Blackpool, as of the last check, there are 3,000 HMOs. These bring in a lot of people who have to remain on incapacity benefits. You can only imagine the attendant social, economic and healthcare problems. Because of the influx of people to the town with a population of over 140,000, Blackpool has continued to suffer a housing deficit. Taking advantage of this and the artificially high level of the housing allowance in the town, property owners have found it far more financially advantageous to rent to housing benefit claimants rather than to improve and uplift their homes to make them sellable to owners that would occupy them. And the demands from housing benefit claimants will continue to increase effectively because of the continued increase in the number of people on benefits and those moving to Blackpool from other parts of the country. These high housing costs and incessant cuts to social security aren't helping families to overcome poverty. They will remain trapped for as long as the benefits freeze set continues. Lack of stable jobs Perhaps the foremost and most obvious reason why Blackpool is so poor is the lack of stable employment. The town is full of part-time jobs. The reason for this is that most of the jobs there are seasonal. We have expatiated on this in our video about Blackpool as the worst rated town in the UK. You can see more in that video if you have not watched it. Meanwhile, job insecurity and a lack of career development and progression mean that in many families, a job isn't a sure route out of poverty. Also, there's no affordable childcare, if there's any such. This holds working parents back from advancing their careers. They can't improve their family lives because of immobility, no thanks to the lack of transport in many areas. Do you know any other reason why Blackpool is so poor? Please let viewers and us add your opinion to the content of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.